everyone, it's Jen and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hey, what's up? Thank you so much for joining. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. In today's video, I'm sharing with you the 10 beauty items that I keep in my desk at work all the time because I find them to be very useful and helpful and they've helped me out in a lot of situations and I just thought maybe you'd like to see what they are. So if you wanna see what those items are, then just keep on watching. All right, so I, I have to admit I had a hard time narrowing it down to 10. So it's like 10 plus two and like one of them is dirty, so apologize for that one. So I've linked all of the products that I mentioned in this video in the description box below if you'd like to shop those. All right, let's start. We're just gonna start right off the bat. We said beauty items, part of being and or feeling beautiful is smelling beautiful. So I always keep deodorant on me. Now, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I've done a video on the Aesop deodorant and this stuff smells so incredible. It's a natural deodorant. It You're gonna want this in a body wash version, but I'll link the video to this to my Aesop products below. This can also act as a perfume because it smells so good, but I would keep a deodorant. Another deodorant I am loving is the Malin & Gates deodorant. I got it from the end sale, which came with a travel size version, but their regular size version is good enough to keep at your desk as well. So I definitely have a deodorant. Along those same lines of smelling nice, I keep a bottle of perfume. The company is Travelo. Sephora makes their own brand. I'll link both of them below. So what you do is you actually put your own perfume inside of here. So it comes empty. And the bottom here, you just kind of like pump it on the top of your perfume, and then you have your favorite scent to go. So I like to keep this at my desk. Um, I'll use this during the day or before I go out at night or like if I have plans after work, but it's really nice to have and it holds a really good amount. If you don't have one of these or you don't wanna buy one, just get a free sample of your perfume at your local department store or Sephora and then just keep that in your desk. Cause it's not like you're gonna use too much of it um, or just all those other random perfume samples that you have. Why not give them a shot, keep them in your desk. Clearly I like to feel clean before I go out. So another thing I would keep on you is some sort of a wipe, like a makeup wipe or just baby wipes. I actually keep baby wipes in my house for to take off makeup and to just kind of freshen up. But whenever I like stay at a Marriott hotel, they have these prepackaged wipes. Sephora had sent me this little one in my Sephora play box. So I just keep things like this, the individual ones, cause I don't use them that often. I keep those in my desk so I can freshen up whenever I feel like it. So whatever that is for you, I mean, you could buy a travel, sized section thing of baby wipes. You can put baby wipes in a Ziploc bag. I mean, those of you who are moms, you probably have thousands of those. So no need to go out and buy anything new. Just kind of look at the random samples that you have laying around and just pop those in a bag to have in your desk at work. Also, I just realized the dryer has been going the entire time I've been doing this video. All right, another item that I'm like kind of embarrassed because I didn't clean it, it's a brush. So I have a mini brush. This came with my like beach waver years ago and I just love this brush. You can pick one of these up at Target. I'll link a few below, but I love to have a brush. I didn't realize like how much just kind of brushing through the ends of your hair can do for you in a day. I don't know, but before you go out, let's say you want to put your hair up. You have the brush to do that. I think you know what a brush is for. I just never really kept one on me at all times. So. There you go. Let's say maybe you wear your hair down to work and you wanna change it up or it's just like kind of bothering you. I keep a little clip or a hair rubber band. So this is a 10 item video, but this would make 11. I keep some sort of whatever your go-to is, I keep one of those at your desk. So you can easily just kind of clip your hair back if you'd like to, put it in a pony or a top knot and you have the brush, so it makes it easy to do. So next up, it's the Clarins. I'm gonna say this wrong, but oh, I'll just say it in English. Beauty Flash Balm, brightens and tightens. I discovered this stuff because I kept getting samples of it. You don't rub it in. It says, apply immediately with makeup. Here's what I find out. So you need the tiniest bit of this. Kind of like, you just put a little bit on your hand and then you pat around your face and I swear it brightens up your whole complexion. I absolutely love this stuff and I can't speak highly enough about it. I know it's not the application and the way they say to use it, but the way I use it, it's like really, really good. Let's say you're like, you know what, Jen, I don't wanna buy something from Clarins, like not my budget. Then I would just say, take your regular moisturizer, put it in a small bottle 
and use that. It has a very similar effect and you just kind of pat that over your skin or under your eyes to brighten them up in the middle of the day or before you go out after work. All right, I'm losing track of my items. Speaking of brightening up your eyes, I keep a concealer with me at all times. So this is medium one custard by NARS. It's the radiant. This one goes under your eyes, but sometimes I swap it out and I have just like a regular concealer for any blemishes that I might have or treating it like a foundation just for touching up. This comes in great. You will be amazed at what just keeping concealer or a mini version of your foundation will do for you when you're getting ready to go out after work. Do you ever get those samples or do like Birchbox or Sephora Play or free with purchase from Ulta or whatever it is? I always seem to get these little hulas. Um, I use this as a bronzer. So I keep these and I put them in my purse or in this case in my desk. So I always have a little bit of bronzer on me. I prefer bronzer over like anything else. And so like, I, and they, they take forever to go through and it's not like I'm using it every day. So it lasts a long time. So if you have these, um, keep them. If not, just as you're running out of your current bronzer, what I, or powder, whatever you prefer, I would say just when it's about to run out, put that one in your desk and then go buy yourself a new one. You're gonna need something to apply it with. Uh, I have this tiny little makeup brush. I'm sure you have something like this round or makeup brush you're not using anymore. This is the Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush. This is something I got as a free rouge gift from Sephora, but I can apply either the concealer with this or I can use it for dry stuff like the bronzer. And it's just really nice to have a makeup brush um, just in case you need it. Those same lines, I keep an eyeliner with me. This one is a tiny one. So you see, I keep the little samples and the Sephora Play items, but I've also had larger, like full size items too. But I keep an eyeliner because I feel like if I'm going to work, like this, and I'm going out at night, maybe I wanna add a winged liner. So I put this thing on. This is the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. It's really nice, I like it. I actually ended up buying the full size version because I like this so much. But sometimes I also, all the birds, sometimes I keep a pencil one so if I wanna do a smoky eye. Um, yeah, last but definitely not least, keep a lip. Keep some sort of a lipstick, lip gloss, whatever your go-to is. Keep that in there. Um, I have the, and I have it on today, it's Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. It's a great neutral. It'll go with all the outfits. Sometimes I like to keep a red or a pink, some like a pop of color, like a bold lip in there as well. Um, up to you, depends on your style, but have some sort of lip because that's just going to like brighten everything up and make you even more excited for your after work plans. So there you go, those are the 10 items that I keep with me at my desk when I'm at work and share with me the comments below the items that you like to keep with you because I mean, by all means, I can keep more than 10 items. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.